Hi, this is Lisa Dillman from Applegate and Dillman Elder Law. I thought I would hop on here and share with all of you, my captive audience, because where are you going to go, right? Um, share with all of you some kind of frequently asked or uniquely asked questions that I'm getting, I'm hearing a lot of these days with COVID-19 and the shelter at home and um, just, just questions that my clients and their families have. And I thought if they have them and they're thinking about these things, you all may be too. Overarching number one thing I get questions about, we at the firm get questions about, is the lockdown in long-term care communities, whether it be nursing home, whether it be assisted living. Um, how can I see my loved ones? How can I communicate with my loved ones? What if my loved one is taking a turn for the worse? How can I how can I be with them during this process? So let me, let me use some examples of um, those kinds of questions that I've gotten recently. Uh, one, uh, I was talking to a client one day and I just said, hey, how you doing? What's, what's, how's all this affecting you? And she said, um, you know what? I'm okay, but I can't talk to my mom. My mom's in an assisted living community and her phone lost charge and uh, she didn't know how to recharge it. So we can't really talk. Well, I said, you know what, hold on, let me call you back in 10 minutes. We made a couple of phone calls to the executive director of that assisted living. They went down to room 238, they plugged in mom's phone, and those two were FaceTiming by the end of the afternoon. So it dawned on me that folks are, are feeling that these times are very strange, they're very challenging, and they just have to take their lumps or they have to just put up with uh, the crisis. Well, no, th there are people out there that can help you. You just have to speak up. You just have to ask. Um, another, this is a more grave example, but um, another client called in very, very worried. Um, his father was in a nursing home community and on, and on hospice, and there was a COVID outbreak in that facility, and he was so very afraid that his father would pass away in the facility without him being able to be there. So we got our elder care coordinators involved. Um, actually, Carol Applegate uh, of Applegate and Billman, she took the lead. She got uh, this client's father placed in a private hospice, got him transported, moved over there, and they were able to be together um, over the weekend when father passed away. So it was, he didn't know what to ask or how to, uh, tap into those resources but he just called and started you know exploring and what what can i do is there anything i can do perfect example of a really good advocate for his dad so i'm getting we are getting as a firm a lot of questions with respect to the lockdown and what kind of rules there are uh, those questions also uh kind of bleed into hey um i don't have up-to-date documents for my mom or my dad can we get anything signed with all this lockdown. I will tell you on a daily basis, someone from this law firm is going to communities and watching our clients sign their documents, their legal documents through the window. So that's not a reason, um, the lockdown's not a reason to not take care of yourself in that regard. So those are kind of some of the lockdown examples and they, they kind of extend uh, to home in a way. I was on the phone maybe two weeks ago with a client. I just called her up and said, how you doing? How you doing with all this? Because I know she doesn't have um, family in the area. And uh, she and she's she can get out and about, but um, not not that well. So I just asked how she was doing. And so she, she and I got into a conversation. Uh, we found ourselves giggling about all the people who are hoarding toilet paper. And it dawned on me. I said, you know, how are you doing on toilet paper? <laughs> and she said, I've got one roll left. So I went to one of our offices where we had some extra, grabbed a six pack and drove it out and put it on her porch and kind of waved at her through the window. And I, it made me feel fantastic. And I know it made her feel uh, connected and good. So all you have to do is ask. And it, you know, if you're going to ask your lawyer for toilet paper, you can ask your your uh, adult children or your grandchildren, don't be shy to ask for connection. 
Uh, the other set of questions that I get that, um, that seem to come with regularity, and these may, they, these may be better placed at a law firm, but I will get calls saying, hey, I've done my documents you know, four years ago, but um, I'm, for instance, I made the choice that at that time I didn't want um, a ventilator or a respirator. And now I'm looking at the statistics of potentially coming off of a ventilator or a respirator with COVID-19 and I'd like to make a change. How fast can I make that change? Well, we can make it as fast as you need. Uh, literally with, with technology nowadays, I can get them on one of these video calls and we can talk about what their, what their choices are. We can, she can hold up her document in front of the, the camera and show me exactly what she wants changed and we can get it done. And like I said, every day, somebody from our firm is going out someplace watching people sign through the window. So don't think that, um, don't think that just because you've waited to make a change or even waited to make the documents, that it's too late at all, because it's not. So I thought I would just get on here and share with you some of those things um, that people have been asking. Actually, before I go, another thing that people have been um, just talking about, maybe not asking questions, but they're, they're just worried about losing connection with their family, with their loved one, and making sure that they can check in on each other. And so um, one of the lawyers in our office was telling me this, this story the other day. Somebody asked her, you know, I go visit my mom at, at such and such assisted living community, and I just stand outside the window, and within 30 seconds, it just gets kind of awkward, like, hey, mom, okay, see ya. We can't communicate very well. We, you know, we're, we're kind of disconnected, even though we're looking at one another. So uh, uh, the lawyer suggested, you know what? Each day you go, dress up in something different wear a weird hat, wear a costume mask, wear a feather boa. At least it's gonna put a giggle in both of you guys and, and both of you will begin to look forward to this visit rather than you just feeling like you're checking a box or, or punching a time clock. I thought that was a fantastic idea. I also think no matter how old someone is or how technology challenged someone is, which I, was before COVID-19, I think you have to check out opportunities to be, uh, to train yourself on Zoom or some other uh, video platform. You can, it's so simple. And the, the connection that you feel just by seeing someone's face, in addition to hearing their voice is remarkable. And it, it'll change the trajectory of your day if you do it. So don't be scared, don't be shy, get on Zoom and, and invite your grandkids to a Zoom meeting. <laughs> They'll be so, uh, so impressed with you. So that's all I wanted to do. I just want to get up and connect with you and talk with you about some of the things that I'm hearing because if other people are hearing it, I'm sure you guys are feeling it too. So if you have any questions, feel free to call us at Applegate and Dillman, even if it's about toilet paper, okay? <laughs> have a great day.